You know, there's this one thing or the other that is always like priority on our mind or somewhere lingering in our hearts that we feel like we should have achieved, we should have become, but we haven't yet been. Places we should have gone, but we haven't yet gone. Or achievements that we should have bagged that we have not yet bagged. From peer pressure to parental pressure to societal pressure to social media pressure, there's pressure everywhere. The pressure is getting worse. For a lot of young people, one of the pressures they face is marital pressure. My mates are doing this. My mates are doing that. And I should be doing this as well. Because I'm wearing me. My mates are doing this, that, and the other. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Lade Owolabi. I make videos about faith, lifestyle, marriage, relationships, and everything in between. Today's video, I want to really address this issue about pressure. There is pressure from left to right, from north to south, from east to west. There is pressure. But how do you handle it? How do you deal with it? Um, because you know what? Everyone has their race to run and everyone has their path to tow. So what do you do when you face pressures and what kind of pressures do people face? You know, have this conversation with me in the comments. You know, I've talked about marital pressure. There's pressure to have children. Sometimes you get married and the plan is that yourself and your husband want to enjoy yourselves for five years. But then your parents are looking at you after nine months and like, Alpha, Atikbokwa, Pardon my Yoruba interjections, that's just the vibe today and we are going to flow with it. How do you handle it? How do you handle it? Because it's not going to stop, right? Different stages, different pressures. The first thing is to identify what is the pressure. What is triggering that pressure? Identify it. You must sit back and do a self-evaluation and see the way that I'm feeling because sometimes you don't even know. And this happens a lot via social media. Because we spend hours and hours scrolling on our devices and we don't realize that that time something is dropping in your subconscious mind. You're thinking, okay, mint green goes with uh, lavender purple and burnt orange for my wedding. You're registering it here. You're thinking, okay, I want all white for my traditional. Those things are dropping your subconscious. And when you're not even actively thinking about these things, they begin to affect your productivity. You're not able to focus because some things, you just dumped some dirt inside of you. So that's why the power of the mind is very important. Secondly, understand the things that you cannot change. What are those things that you can't change? Once you identify the things you can't change, accept them. So let me, for the purpose of this video, let's talk about marriage as a pressure, marital pressure. You want to get married. Is the problem finances? Do you already have a beloved? Do you have somebody who you are currently engaged with planning to get married? That's different. You know, your challenge will be different. So identify what's causing the pressure. Is the pressure, I don't have so much money. If that's what it is, I have some videos coming up in the month of August where I'm going to be talking about how you can plan, you know, a wedding on a budget and get married. Find a way, accept that you need to do something. It could be getting a job. It could be working twice as hard. Well, if you already have a job, you might be getting a second job. You might be reviewing your ideas or ideals for a wedding and addressing it and reviewing it so that it can fit in your current status quo right it might be postponing it for a while until you save up for it right so that's how you understand what's going on identify it and then see whether or not you can do something about it in that regard if you don't have somebody you're dating at that point with marriage that's something that is causing you pressure you're looking at somebody's wedding picture and you're feeling like when am i going when is my turn going to come but you're not even in a relationship yet so there's some things you can't control you can try to position yourself right before the right relationship when you don't have a beloved it's a different problem entirely so you need to identify what's causing this pressure why am i feeling like this let's go to point two so once you've identified it you need to have an outlet so i don't know if you've ever seen the picture of a pressure pot or a pressure cooker a pressure cooker keeps in every single steam every steam when you're making when you're boiling something or cooking something the pressure pot locks in every single steam outlet such that 
everything is inside that pot that's why when you're cooking with a pressure pot things get cooked quicker because the energy there is intense it's high when you're cooking with a pressure pot and you're finished cooking i like to use it for something hard like beans or cow feet you know when you use a pressure pot for something like that when you are done cooking you do not open the pressure pot. there's usually an outlet that you release like unscrew usually on top of the pressure cooker and when you do that steam starts to come out and once until the steam comes out before you can open it my point is that you must have an outlet where you let out the steam of life you will get steam you get steam steam is that funny feeling that sometimes a hot sensation that you feel when you look at somebody doing something that you know you should be doing or you could be doing but you're not doing yet that's what steam is and if your steam doesn't have an outlet then it's just a matter of time you explode and that's why in this generation there's an increase in depression you know people are seeing their mental health issues and all of that is because people don't have outlets where they can properly let out steam so find an outlet to let out this pressure slow down calm down that's the third point slow down from your busy busy routine slow down from your phone usage calm down cut out on the things that are putting the pressures on you once you've identified it, if it's mommy that is calling you too much reduce how you often you take mommy's call mommy will understand later but you need to take care of yourself first and if that means reducing the number of times because if you know that every time mommy calls she's going to end the conversation with when are you bringing somebody home when are you bringing somebody home and please if you're a mommy and you're watching this cut her some slack if you're an auntie and you're watching, cut these people some slack some of you don't realize like the impact of your words when you see people and you're like are you not done with your honeymoon those things are insensitive comments and your insensitivity can be that one steam that makes that person explode and it could be as dangerous as leading somebody to suicide so we have to be careful find an outlet slow down reduce drastically reduce the time spent on those things that increase the pressure you are facing get help very important get help get someone who you can trust and you can speak to get a counselor speak to your pastor find somebody who you can trust emphasis on trust because if you go around telling people about your life your life is going to become a subject of conversation so prayerfully find someone that you can speak to and get help the fifth thing definitely not the least is to get organized this is one very underrated tip that can change anybody's life forever being organized is not overrated being organized is something that must happen for you to get to that next level if you're not organized you're not going anywhere you're not moving and you'll be going in circles you'll be going around in circles has it ever happened to you when you know you make up your mind that today i'm home i want to get abc done but then you realize that as you are home, that's when you decide that you want to arrange a bookshelf that did not call you that they want to be arranged. That's when you discover that you want to um, wash your shoelace. And you're doing all of that. It seems like you're working. seems like you're working hard, but you know down within you that you're not productive because you're just not organized. Be organized. Let your clothes be where they're supposed to be. Let your shoes be where they're supposed to be. Let your jewelry be where it's supposed to be. Take care of your space very important if things are organized i find that i'm more productive if my things are scattered helter skelter then i'll be less productive so very important pay attention to your organization and learn it pj my husband pastor john says a lot of times that there's nothing that cannot be learned you can learn everything let this be an encouragement to you today to learn be open to learning and get organized take yourself seriously so that others can take you seriously philippians chapter 4 verse 6 be anxious for nothing but in everything with prayer and supplications make your request known to god if you have not identified the pressures you can know the request to make known to god luke chapter 12 verse 25 who of you by worrying can add one single hour to your life worrying is not going to make you live longer if anything if at all is going to make you sick 
So don't worry. Don't worry. If, if it's something you cannot control, then deal with the things you proverbs chapter 3 i love this one verse 5 trust in the lord with all your heart lean not on your own understanding in all your ways acknowledge him and he will direct your path thank you so much guys for watching bye say bye <laughs>